Welcome to a little uh, comparison of linear versus exponential modeling and playing with Excel. Uh, so we're going to look at two things. We're going to look at Sarah, who earns $60,000 a year with a 3% raise uh, yearly, and Jack, who earns $60,000 a year with a standard $1,500 raise yearly. So we can see here that Sarah is our exponential model because we have a percentage and Jack is our linear model because it's static, right? That 1500 a year would be our slope. So what we're going to do is we're going to compare uh, Sarah and Jack. So first, let's just think about the formulas of what this looks like if we are going to create an exponential and then a linear model for these two people. So first for Sarah, we know that um, if we would have y equals, so just thinking this through, we start with her base salary, which is 60000 And then because this is a percent increase, we would take 1 plus the percent, which is 3%, and we would raise that to the number of years. So that in this case, I'm just going to call t for time as our number of years. And this is our exponential model. Uh, if you don't remember that, please go back and check some exponential modeling videos. Uh, now, so uh, because 3 was B, right, again, is our percent increase, that's why that 3 is in there. Okay, so now let's go to the linear model, where 1,500 would be... Sorry for the dog barking. Okay, back to Jack. So Jack is the linear model where 60,000 would be our y-intercept, right? That's our starting point, our one-time amount. And then that 1,500 raise yearly, that is our slope because it's reoccurring. So we would have y equals, remember, we'd have mx plus b. So this would be kind of our piece where x in this case is also time. So let's again use t to stay consistent. So those are the formulas we are going to use when we create our Excel. So first we're going to do years. So we're going to start with the year zero. Ooh. And um, I'm going to, if I highlight these, notice there's a pattern. So I can put my little black plus sign over that green dot in the corner and I can drag and it will auto populate. So I'm going to auto populate to 50 and eh, let's go down to 20. So we're going to have 20 years of this. Now the reason we're starting with year zero because that's current. So we know currently Sarah and Jack both earn 60000 so that's year zero. So let's go ahead and populate the formula for Sarah. Now we've got to do a little bit different than the way we have it over there in column J. So in this case, we're going to start with an equal sign. I still have my 60000 but Excel doesn't recognize number next to parentheses as multiplication. So we've got to use, I call it the snowflake, but it's a star or something. Um, and then we would type in our parentheses 1 plus 0 0.03. And we are going to raise that, use the caret, raise to the time. And time is years. So I'm going to highlight cell A2 because that, um, that highlights the year that we're dealing with. So now we can use cell references. And I'm going to hit enter. And you'll notice that it gives me 60,000. And it should because that is our base year. Now, similar from before, I have my green square in that bottom right-hand corner. If I put the black plus sign over that and double-click, it will autofill all the way down to year 20 using that formula. So if I click on that, you'll see it's the same formula, only the cell reference has changed, and that's what we want. Okay, let's go to Jack. So Jack is 1,500 times my cell reference plus 60,000 because T is time, time is years. Again, should be 60,000. It's my cell reference. I go back to the plus sign in the corner. I double click and it auto fills. So now you can do an easy comparison, Sarah to Jack, of the, the difference in the raises. Now, to give a visual representation, I'm going to highlight all three categories and go up to insert. And you'll see this one chart here. I'm going to look at two different graphs. So now we can see, you can see how Sarah is the orange and Jack is the gray. So gray being linear and Jack, notice how it's a very straight line. And Sarah's line is slightly curved. So I'm going to click on this over in the minimum. I'm going to change the minimum to 35. Eh, we start at 60. I'm going to go to 45,000 as my minimum. Um, just so it gives me a little bit more separation. So you can see a little bit more clearly even make that a little bit bigger if we want, that it's pretty equal there at the beginning. And then as we get to year three, four, and so on, the, the amount that Sarah and Jack are earning at their jobs continues to get wider. 
because while Jack is earning a flat 1500 Sarah is continually earning that 3% on top of her previous earnings. So the difference in how much she's making every year grows because 3% of the previous year is always more because the base salary continues to increase. Um, and that's the big difference between linear and exponential growth. 